Introducing the Los Angeles continue to fight. Pedro Lavelle on the right, Ken Norton on the left. Norton weighs 220, Lavelle 208. Kenny Norton, by the way, on the left of your screen was a heck of an all-around athlete, Patrick. A 9-9 sprinter, a great hurdler. They're talking about him right now. A very fine football player that decided to go solo and be a fighter. Huh? With that kind of size and the kind of speed he has, he probably would have been a fine football player. He now, wasn't sure he was going to make it to the top in football. He chose boxing, and he's close. And you know, Pedro was right, the all-time great soccer player in Argentina, almost a Pele of that country. Very versatile fellow. Listen again. Step back. In case of a knockdown, you go to a neutral corner and, last, and, and stay there until I see to come out and resume fighting. If you lose your mouthpiece, you must keep boxing. Shake hands up with can the I, I, I think the assumption, Pat, might be that Lavelle has to come out early and at least hurt Kenny Norton enough to keep him off because Norton's bigger and he's going to lay all over him. His track record, that of Lavelle, has been strength early. He's knocked out nine of his opponents in the first round. He's won five in a row. Perhaps you don't know too much about him, but he is highly respected around California and, of course, in Argentina. Kenny Norton happens to have the distinction of going 500 against Muhammad Ali, the champion of the world. We know Muhammad's watching right now somewhere back in Pennsylvania. This young man won one and lost one. Here we go. All right. Norton on the right, Lavelle circling on the left. <laughs> My God. <dude. laughs> Norton being very careful early because of that reputation of Lavelle. He's got a sneaky right hand. That's what we're going to look for early. That comes right over the top. And big wide shoulders. I tell you, Norton's a lot bigger than he used to be, though. He is mm -hmm. really a bona fide 220. <laughs> 27 knockouts by Kenny Norton on your right. Well, if you look at the two together, it doesn't look like they're this, near the same weight. And, of course, they really aren't. But physically, they're worlds apart, aren't they? Norton's about 12 pounds heavier. Pretty good left hand that's shot out there by Pedro. Quick hands. And that awkward style of Kenny Norton's is what gave Muhammad Ali so much trouble. He's sort of up and down, herky-jerky, hobby horse right into you all the time. It's not easy. Pretty good right-hand lead by Pedro Lavelle. Got over the top. Jab by Norton. Ooh, good right hand by Norton. Can Pedro Lavelle take it, Pat? That's what we're going to find out today, because Norton will stay there long enough to really deliver a lot. His record is 18, 1 and 1. Pretty good combinations by Pedro. Now he's back down there. That was a good body hook by Kenny Norton. Less than a minute now in round number one. Kenny has that defensive sort of right hand thrown under his chin. You can't hit him with the right hand. It looks like over the top. Ooh, two good jabs. Norton is quick. 30 seconds. Round one. Supposed to go 12. I doubt that. Norton, a four to one favorite. And he got tagged. Good right hand by Pedro. <laughs> Pretty good jab. He does have quick hands. Well, as you mentioned before, he is a fine all-around athlete. His father, in fact, was the Olympic champion here in the United States, representing Argentina back in 1932. So he's got a great boxing background. You son of a gun. Where'd you come up with that one? <laughs> <laughs> he told me yesterday. Ooh, two good jabs and followed by that right by Norton. There is, of course, a possibility that Lavelle might have been distracted before the fight. There was a dispute. 
between his manager and the promoter of this fight. So he had a lot of other things on his mind. And whether it bothered him or not, we'll just have to wait and see. That's one of the ways to break concentration. Good uppercut by right. Norton. The bell moves around pretty well. He's got to do this a long time, though. And Kenny keeps, notice how he just inches forward, inches forward. And he is a brute upstairs. He is strong. Norton's been pressing right from the start. Lavelle not circling as much as he did in round one. Both fighters very positive. Kenny Norton extremely positive, not only about this fight, but about Muhammad Ali, if he can get with him. Norton's 30, Lavelle is 29. Ooh, good hook coming out of that crouch by Lavelle. That was blocked. Halfway through round two. Norton doesn't seem to be jabbing as much as he normally does. He usually has a pretty stiff jab. Now he's trying it a little bit. Pedro can't stay too close to him. Now most people think he's got to move and as we said, use the quick slipping right hand and there, good, good left hand again by Pedro. Minute left, round two. Lavelle with his back to the ropes now. Got to get out of there. Oh, yes. Neutral corner on the far side of the ring. Ooh, combination. Misses with the uppercut. That could have ended it right there if Kenny Norton had landed that one. Norton got tagged. 30 seconds left round two. They have no common foes, and they both are on the West Coast, which really surprised me. Good right hand by Pedro Lavelle. Boy, he's standing still a lot, though, Pat, mm -hmm. right now. Norton has not opened up much on offense. Okay, Pat, round number three, Patrick. Ken Norton in the blue trunks on the right. Pedro Lavelle of Argentina on the left. And now facing you. Norton is picking up the tempo right now. He's beginning to press closely. Now he's got to get Lavelle to move a little bit. Lavelle wants to seem to stay in the middle of the ring and that's going to be dangerous against Kenny Norton. One thing about Norton, he does not overextend himself early and get himself hurt. He will find out what his man can really do in there that day and then quietly destroy him. All business right now. Jab for jab. Tom, we'd hope to have Muhammad Ali joining us with commentary on this fight. But problems arose there too. Ali doesn't like Kenny Norton any way that you possibly can bring the two together. Norton feels the same way. He's standing still a lot. Norton would like to get him back up against the ropes or perhaps in that corner. One minute and 30 left here in round three. Pat, you ever do any fighting yourself? A little bit, Golden Glove style. Must have been a winner. You don't look too bad. <laughs> it's a long time ago. It's a long time to get well. I'll tell you, Pedro Lavelle's a pretty cool guy, though. He's not a bad counterpuncher. He's fighting with a hairpiece on. You've got to be pretty cool to do that. You mean that's not the real Pedro Lavelle we see in there? Not all of it. <laughs> a minute left, round three. Kenny Norton just acknowledged. Slayton, his trainer in the corner, about some kind of a move here in the last few seconds of round three. Good right hand by Norton. Sneaky. Good left hand by Norton. Two. Good hook. Hook and a jab coming out of it by Pedro Lavelle. Good right, right hand. Right hand over that stiff jab. Now he moves inside on Norton. Less than 30 seconds left in the round. Slipped it a little bit and threw a hook. Norton 
warned there by the referee Ferd Hernandez for hitting with the back of the glove. Less than 10 seconds in the round now. A good hook coming off the right hand at the end of round three. There's Bill Slayton talking to Kenny Norton, his trainer, and Kenny was very serious, and so was Slayton. At the end of three rounds, we figure it's darn near dead even. He said what the experts say. Here comes Pedro Lavelle for round four. Pedro's got to look out for the right hand now. He's moving right toward Norton's right hand side. Cat and mouse time right now. Well, he now, throws a quick hook out of that novella. Norton talking to him a little bit now. I guess it's best not to answer when you're in that situation. He's turned sideways like he's doing. Whatever you say will be held against you, right? <laughs> and soon. Ooh, missed. Two minutes left. Round four. Lavelle's first sparring sessions were with Oscar Bonavina, a big heavyweight, so he's been in with people that do lay on you and try to tire you. Right above us now. Norton. Norton coming after him a little bit now. Going after perhaps a little bit of a soft underbelly. Ooh, left and right by Norton. Left to the head now. Minute and a half left. Ooh, the right hand by Norton. Two right hands and the left in between. Lavelle's hands are really slowed down suddenly. Ooh, the hook almost knocks him down right above us. Norton wants to do it right now. really has no starts left in some of those punches now. Look at Norton working the combinations. A minute left in the round. Uh-oh. Left and right. Another left and right. Kenny Norton is really going to work. And LaBelle is really hurt. Well, that Norton is really hit me with the hooks that are right that it's on top of the head and Pedro's in trouble and staggering back across in front of us. 30 seconds left in the round now. Lavelle's left eye is cut. Back in the corner again. Two good hooks by Lavelle as he tries to get out of here but he's got to move the feet. Left eye is badly swollen now. Another hook by Norton. Didn't have too much on that one. What? Less than 10 seconds now left of the round. Norton misses with a right. He doesn't miss with that hook or that one. And I'm excited about this fight right now, and Kenny Norton's in control. Here we go. Round five. Round four was a great round for Norton. About the best defense against Kenny Norton, I think, is to be very offensive and try to throw as much as you can. That's what LaBelle's doing right now, pressing it a little bit more than he has been. He lands a pretty good right hand, the Pedro Lavelle. Ooh. Notice that Norton doesn't always close the glove, Pat. Sometimes he hits you with an open glove, and that's not like somebody really digging you, like the great Ali right hand or Joe Frazier's left hand. By the way, that's the only person Kenny Norton claims he will never fight is Joe Frazier. Why? Two good of friends started him out and says he and Joe will always be friends and never in the ring together or against one another. Two minutes left now in round five. Look at the arms on Kenny Norton. Look at the arms on Kenny Norton in the chest. Mandingo he is. <laughs> he looks like a weightlifter, but he's never touched one, he said. Uppercuts from down to the knee. He's standing on the right. Oh, the knee's buckling. Pedro Lavelle's in a lot of trouble in his own corner, trying to come back out now. 
the mouthpiece is out, and that's the only one the fighter can use. See Bird Hernandez is. put him back in his corner. That's it. And the three knockdown rule was even way for this fight, and we never even really got a knockdown. Lavelle, the kid still hardly stand in the ring. The winner is Ken Norton. And Tommy Brookshire headed up uh, in the ring right now to be talking with Ken Norton. As Kenny went true to form. Got things just about his way after Lavelle looked particularly strong in the first two rounds. Then Norton took command. And that's his right hand and now his left hand extended. Tom Brookshire will be chatting with him just as soon as we get set. Don King right behind Norton right now. The promoter par excellence. And Norton had just about the kind of time we thought he would. And let's see if Tom Brookshire is set now. You ready, Tom? Kenny. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee stops the bout. Kenny. At one minute, 40 seconds of the fifth round. Here we are. Winner by TKO, Kenny. How are you? Pretty good, Tom. Okay. Congratulations. Just another KO, number 28 for you. Muhammad Ali is watching this right now. He's back up at the training base in Pennsylvania. Training base with a song called Hold On, I'm Coming. Okay. Do you want Hold to Hold On, I'm anything? Coming. I mean, personally to him right now, if you want to say That's something. That's it. Hold on, I'm coming. Okay. <laughs> I'll be there. How soon do you think Don King and company are going to get this together, maybe? Uh, there's an old thing in... Oh, can't even talk now. Okay. You can ask. There's an old thing in the Marine Corps called ASAP, as soon as possible. Okay, the old Marine Corps philosophy. Let's take a look now. Here's the slow motion. And if you might tell me, did Pedro show you fast hands in the first couple rounds? I thought he did better when he was really attacking you. Uh, he did a lot better when he was uh, being aggressive. But then, then again, I wasn't really pressing him. I wanted to work. I wanted at least four or five rounds. And so uh, I didn't unload anything early. Uh -huh. Kenny, he slipped the right hand over on you a little bit. Are you susceptible to a right hand? And I'm, you know, I'm not trying to knock it. Yeah, um, I think anybody, anything you get caught with, you're susceptible to. And the, th the thing is catching me with it. You hooked pretty well today, though. I thought you, you, you the hook coming off, you, you were doing a pretty good job of that with the left hand. It was fairly well. I was, I'm a little heavy, 220, and uh, a little sluggish, but I feel that by the time Ollie and I get together, I'll be down to about 210, and I'll be ready. But you're a stronger, bigger fighter than you look to me like than you were maybe a year and a half or two years ago. Are you a stronger guy? Do you feel stronger when you get in the ring? I feel a lot stronger, yes. yes. Mr. Lot Byron, stronger. can we talk to you for you, just a moment? Yes, indeed, you now, this can. is your protege, your man. Well, what do you Absolutely. think about him? Are, are you happy I'm with the proud, way he did? I'm happy. He needed, this, he needed the workout today. It was a good fight. He needs it for Ali. Ali's next, and Ken's ready. <laughs> All right, how long will he get off now before you put him back to work and make him go out and do the running in the big brogans right in the morning there? After the sports, super sports in Florida, he's a week in Florida in super sports and right back into training. Okay, right back into training. Kenny, good luck to you. You're a gentleman. You're, you're certainly a credit to the, your former Marine Corps buddies, too. I think they must be pretty proud of you. Today. Hopefully so, and thank you very much for your... Uh, okay, good luck in the oh, superstars, all right? Good enough. You ought to watch it. I'll, I'll be there. It's the first time a boxer ever won anything. All right, Kenny Norton.